Hello, Hello all of my, my sleepy bears. bears. My name's Chronically Blue. And I'm the husband. And welcome back to some more Inscription. Last episode, the husband assisted me with finding... Uh, making the correct choices, I should say. So, here we are. We can get a random card and sacrifice a card for the sigil, or go to the beast using our... Go to the beast. Okay. The beast gives the good cards. And do you remember what we did in order to help us analyze the placement? It's one, two, three, four from left to right. Okay. All right, so four blood, six health, or five bones. I'm going to go with six health because a lot of our cards have a lot of health. Yeah. Three, Three eight. There we go. Immediately passed. Just from the instant it started. Okay, so we got an opossum no. that block. Okay. No. We got a mole that. Okay. And we got a rattler that summons a bee. Uh, I wish we had the plant. I mean, you still have the plant. I guess we just can't use it here. Yeah. So the opossum doesn't. It don't do nothing. The mole can swim and gets in the way. So that we never take, like, teeth damage. I guess we can take the mole. Do you want to take the mole? I mean, it only costs one blood, and like you said, it gets in the way, so why not? Yeah, we'll use it as, like, a last defense. Backpack. We Our backpack nothing. is full. But it means we get a pack rat. That's always good. Oh, have you seen that game that came out recently? It's another crab's treasure, but you play as a crab, and you go around, and you grab pieces of trash around the ocean floor as your shell. I did not. It is so cute. All right, so we have two elk fawns. We have a mole. Why? Why are you still here? Stink bug, and a backpack squirrel. So. <laughs> not great. It looks like we're going to have to use the mole. Yep. Wait a minute, if the mole gets in the way but also swims, doesn't that make it just swim? I don't know. Okay, well, I guess we'll find out. Yep, it sure does. Awesome. So it's like, what, what's, what's the point? The point is to <clears throat> sacrifice it. Exactly. Oh, wait a minute. So the, that doesn't do anything. That allows us to yank one of their cards onto our side. We need to save it. We can use the bowler. Eh. Okay. If you want to. Well, again, we have the squirrel, which gives us an item. And look, we got a squirrel in a jar. Okay, sacrifice the mole and the squirrel and put down Y. And three? Yeah, might as well. And then play down the stink bug in four. You got it. Okay, we're back to being in the lead. Kind of need a regular card. Pack rat. Cool. Um, I say we are f actually. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. Now, okay, so. Yeah, we'd be fine. Yeah, I'm, what I'm saying was, even if we made it flying, we still wouldn't automatically win. So, go ahead and play. Yeah. Also, have you ever rung the bell on this controller? No. You can actually feel it. Uh, pull another regular card. Raven egg. Break the squirrel in the jar. Play the squirrel in the jar. Play the raven egg in two. Ooh, we got some scissors. So if we wanted, we could use the scissors, but it's okay. Because we want to save those scissors. And I'm just letting you know you said it's mumble a little bit. Oh, yeah, sorry. I do that. <laughs> you know I do that a lot. Yes, I know, but that's why I'm telling you. So you can be like, oh, right, there's a microphone here. Yeah. Sometimes I forget that you're here, Mr. Microphone. Or Mrs. Microphone, or Vase Microphone. As long as you don't doing any crimes you're you're cool you're a good microphone please don't touch the microphone <laughs> you were upset to be so much next turn um sure why not oh let's try that yeah i wish we'd cut up a card but that's okay 
Um, let's pull a regular card. Great. Um, um, so we could cut up the elk to the left. The one to the right. The one to the right, either or, there's two elks. So do you, do you want to know why the one to the right? Because it's about to kill the stink bug? Yeah. Bye-bye card. And then just let it go and then draw a squirrel next turn? Yeah. And the elk fawn isn't going to do anything. Pick up a squirrel. I want you to get rid of the stink bug and play the squirrel to then get the pronghorn out. Because how much is the pronghorn? Two. Two per turn. How many ticks are we away? Uh, four. Okay, so yeah. Put the pronghorn in two. And then we have a frozen opossum in order to help buffer the damage. So when you said that the pronghorn was two, I thought that you meant it was face value two, not one. No, it's, yeah, it's two blood, one attack. No, I meant the attack. So anyway, um, go ahead with the turn. Uh, you can, oh, well, never mind. You, you can't say go ahead with the turn and be like, oh, by the way, actually don't. Uh, pick up a regular card. A skink. Cool. I guess put the frozen opossum in front of four. And then I'm assuming next time we want to get a squirrel and then summon a skink. Yeah. You. That's okay. Okay, you still want to summon a skink? Well, yeah, it's about the only thing we can do. Ooh, we got the hourglass. I mean, yeah, we can make him skip his turn. Let's do that. Okay, so he'll pass his next turn. And then what we could do <clears throat> make is... Make them all flying. That's what I was thinking. Just so we can get, like, the three bonus in order to help us, like, get us going. And then we can grab, uh, what do you want to grab? Grab a regular card. I'm hoping it's bones. It's, not. it's a bullfrog. That's okay. Um, it's not going to do anything. Yeah, not really much else we can do. So just play? Yeah. Pick up a squirrel. Put Play the bullfrog. The bullfrog. What did we get? We got a squirrel. Um, not much we can do, so just go ahead and play. I mean, we're doing quite well in buffering them out. A possum. Ooh, so what we could... No, we don't need the pack rat. That's right. Yeah. Uh, pick up a regular card. The stunted wolf. You love the stunted wolf. Yeah. Let's and it see. has six attacks. We could put it in front of the moose buck or the elk. Yeah. I'd say probably the elk. And then we could put a squirrel. The squirrel in the jar there. Yeah. Where the opossum is. I think it's a little bit stronger. Hey, another squirrel in a jar. <laughs> Ah, oh, perfect. So, regular card? Yeah, pick a regular card. Of course it's an elk. Squirrel in a jar? Because <laughs> the elk is way better than the pack rat. 
but we can't play the elk. Oh yeah, you're right. So we. I so mean, you could do the turn. You could take the squirrel out, and then just take the turn, or we could wait until the next turn. Let's wait till the next one. Uh, pick up a squirrel, break the squirrel in the jar. And I'm assuming you want me to summon the elk in, in front of the moose buck? Four. The elk in four? Yep. Okay. We got the fan back. And we got the scissors back. And that takes us to victory. And you questioned me. You're going to question yourself when you watch this back. No, I'm not. Oh, we buy pelts. How many do we have? Um, do we have enough to buy a golden pelt? Yes. In fact, we have enough to buy another golden pelt. Yeah. No, that's it. Okay. Hey, right, that's all the pelts I have for you today, because you ain't got no more money. Hee <laughs> Okay, so we... I don't... Fire? Yeah, because, I mean, we, we literally have the OP of wood carvings. Okay, so Ooh, this one health. is more health. Let's see. Who do we want to add health to? <laughs> How about the mole man? <laughs> oh, um, great heavens. Okay, let me see here. Um, more health, more health, more health. Um, that oak fawn is fine. Wow. Uh, sorry, the elk has like five health um I wish that the pronghorn had more attack yeah um, the stink bug has pretty good attack but not that great health so probably the stink bug just cause she kinda needs some help you mean health yeah you said help. I know. I, synonyms she at this point. She needs help with her health. Yeah. All right. Send for a regular battle. Woohoo! Backpack squirrel. Oh, yes. We got the stunted wolf. And a bullfrog. Okay. So this person has a frozen opossum, a raven egg, a porcupine, and another raven egg. Okay. Put the stunted wolf down. I'm assuming in front of the porcupine? No. That's the only one that can do damage. Sure. Okay, tell me your strategy. It's fine. Is it fine, or is this something that we're going to discuss at midnight? No, it's fine. Just go ahead and just do what you want to do for this. Even he questioned it. But anyway, so uh, then you can go ahead and uh, play your turn. Ah, I just... No, we're fine. Uh, squirrel? Yes. And do you want me to put the... Stoat in front of a raven egg? Yeah. Two or four? Does it matter? A little bit, it matters to me. Actually, we could... Yes! What? That was so dumb. Could what do you mean? Won. We won. You could have gotten extra teeth. We don't need extra teeth. We already have the pelts. Okay, but who says we don't need more pelts? Okay. What is this one going to be? Yep. S Sigils. I don't even have to look at the rest. One. None. There we go. That was close. Oh, I almost had a heart attack. Yeah, that's why I hate the pelts, because they're included in everything. Um, let's see here. Do we want the kingfisher? So the kingfisher has a touch of death, meaning it kills whatever and it attacks. it flies. And it swims, it's meaning it'll, like, never die, but it'll, like, instantly KO everything. The blood but hound, it only attacks 
the guy. Yeah. And how does touch of death work against the person? It doesn't. Oh, man, I it, wish we could see what the bell ring is. I have no idea, actually. You know what? Let's get it and see what it does. Why not? Uh, because it's like my fifth time playing through this, so I want to be a little strategic. Just a little bit. I could also look up what it does. We could play it safe. Okay. Okay, we'll be right back after these short messages. Obviously. And we are back after those brief messages. So, with the bell ringer, if you place it closest to the bell, it will have four attack. If you place it furthest away from the bell, it will have one attack and everything in between. Okay, I'm glad we looked that up because I didn't want to get it and then just be like, oh, what's going on? So, thank you for looking that up. I appreciate that. You're welcome. So, yeah, we're going with that one. I do not want to go to the mushroom. I want to go to the campfire. Oh, yeah, the mushrooms one where they take the two cards and, and I don't like them it together. anymore. Okay. It's just weird. So, this one, I want to do the pronghorn and I want you to do it thrice. Three times? Yeah. One. Two. Final time. Okay, now pull it away. Pull it away. Pull it away. One more. No. And that's just like an insta win. And then, oh, there's the pelt person right back there. Perfect. Yep. All right. So. Uh, <laughs> let's play the elk fawn. Okay. Uh, so what we got up is mole man and then moose buck. Yeah, we want to try and kill off Mole Man as quickly as possible. Well, that's going to take a bit. I but, know, he's got like six health. Yeah, but thankfully, no attack. Oh, okay. Um, so we can't play the Long Elk yet. Yes, correct. Uh, so do you want me to put the Elk Fawn in front of the Mole Man? Sure. Okay, right, there we go. Sorry about the squeaks, guys. This chair just really doesn't like me. Yeah, there's a reason why you got me a new chair. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, pick up the squirrel. Let's have him skip his turn. Okay, and then what? And then we'll play our turn. And then we'll be able to pick up another squirrel or a creature card. Does that make sense? And then play the bloodhound? Yeah, okay. So just have him play down the squirrel in four. Yeah. After you make him skip his turn. Yes. So Do that now. Let's not be hasty. Please do it. What my plan is because then we could get another better item as well as then we'll pick up another squirrel or we could get another squirrel in a bottle and we could pick up a creature card or pick up a squirrel so what my thing is, is i want to use the fish hook to grab the moose buck and drag it to our side in the open space thoughts I feel like we don't get that back because I haven't seen the dagger back in a while. Okay. So you said play a squirrel, skip the turn, grab another squirrel. Skip the turn first, then play the squirrel so we get another item. In four. Okay, so we just got a frozen opossum. Play your turn. Pick up another squirrel. How much is the bloodhound? Two. Two? All right, put it in four. Don't have enough bones. I oh, know. And then go? Yeah. So that killed that off, which is good. 
Um, let's pick up a creature. Okay. Use the scissors on the. Yeah. Play our turn. Uh, pick up a squirrel, play the stunted wolf in the open space. Okay, so that helped a little bit. Um, I guess a squirrel for safekeeping? Yeah. And then the next one I'll want you to pick up a creature. I love Stout. Nobody really likes him. Okay, I think we're good to go. Yeah, we're gonna win this one. Could you say that any more depressed? <laughs> like, I, I think gonna we're gonna win this one. Uh, sell the pelts? Yeah. Because we do have three gold pelts. I thought we have two. No, I think we got like three gold pelts and one rabbit Maybe. pelt. I don't know. Cat. <laughs> okay, I guess we do have two gold pelts. Ooh. I know you love when I use Child 13. No. Okay. Doesn't matter anymore. Child 13 does not matter. Now, Gecko is a zero cost card. Yes, it is. So we could play that immediately. Yeah. So I would recommend getting that one. And the Amalgam? Yeah. Again, I'm listening to you like 87% of the time. We are not going to the mushrooms, so we'll find out what this is. Oh, what is this? Is this the get rid of forever? Uh, apparently. Oh, okay. You didn't want to do this, did you? Nope, really didn't want to. We Bye can get why. rid of the mole. Oh, okay. Or why? No, it's okay. Mole doesn't really have anything other than it just gets in the way. Yeah. All right. So this gives us an additional bone when we start. Nice. Oh, this might be good for this one. I don't remember what this one is. Uh, this is the knife guy. The trapper. Oh, yeah, the trapper. Oh, yeah, this is the one that we died on last time, isn't it? Sure is. Why is... Ah, oh, okay, there we go. Um, the thing is, Mole Man won't take any attack. He'll just defend. Um, I do like that leaping trap. Okay, so... I say play the Greater Smoke somewhere. You could even play it in front of the leaping trap, then we don't, we don't have, have to, to deal with it. that. I would like to use the hook on one of the traps, like one of the strange frogs. I would like you not to do that. Okay. We need to save that specific item for when we are playing against Leshy himself and not these characters that he's made up. I don't know who Leshy is, but I'll just go with it. Um, so we have a squirrel, mole man, and bullfrog. So we can either play mole man, bullfrog, and then we also have a frozen possum. Put the frozen opossum in one. I thought I chose the wrong thing for a second there. Play down a squirrel, put the frog in two. Maybe hey, squirrel. Now this way we can at the very least do one attack and free up a card. We could also put down more man. I'm not against what? it. Hey yeah, scissors. Imagine you see the dagger come back and you're just like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm done. Bombastic side eye. Okay, so we got a lot of bones. And we got a wolf pelt for free. Okay. Um... So 
So we have a bunch of items. Yeah, just pick up a... Pick up a squirrel. Okay, so we can... We could make him pass his turn. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. We got another frozen possum back. Are you sure? Yeah. It doesn't look like... Oh, yeah, okay. Um, go ahead and have you play your turn. And creature? Yeah. Get the elk. Now, in theory... Oh, I'm just to attack. We could get rid of the squirrel. No, no, no. I'm thinking ahead. I'd say we just... I wish we had saved the squirrel in our hand. Yeah, it's fine. Because it's going to be gone now. But that's okay. Go ahead and go to the next turn. We have, a, bun we have a bunch of squirrels. Yeah. A squirrel? Yeah. We need squirrels. Well, we could put the pelt down in front of... Oh, that's a bullfrog. What are you talking about? That's a bullfrog. Yeah. What about it? We could put the wolf pelt in front of the bullfrog, because we'll get the wolf pelt back in our hand. Yeah, and that'll like, buy us some time. Yeah. So, go ahead and play. Bye-bye, bullfrog. And you get another wolf pelt. And we also get an adder. Remember, we do have a squirrel in our hand. Yeah. Um, let's pull a creature card. And we have enough, so play the long elk. Are you sure, though? It's the only thing that we have. Yeah, but the adder has a touch of death, and the long elk has a touch of death. Okay, then put the wolf pelt there, and we'll hold on to it. Because I'm guessing the adder will kill the wolf pelt. Grab a squirrel. Put down the long elk. In front of the bullfrog? In front of whatever you want to put oh, down in front of. Oh, we could put in front of the adder, because we're attacking first. Okay. And um, then we'll just go ahead and get rid of the mole man, because I should have had you play down the elk first. Okay, and do you want me to put the elk in front of the bullfrog? Yeah. Okay. And then do you want me to put a squirrel in front of the strange frog? Yeah, I guess. Just to buy us some time. Yeah. Um. Do you want to risk a creature? Or do you want to risk a... <laughs> do I want to risk a creature? Or do I want to risk a squirrel? Because squirrels aren't creatures. They don't have souls. They're meaningless. I mean, that's why they get sacrificed. Um, <laughs> let's pull a creature in hopes. Mm. What? Yeah, the Malagam. It It's everything? one part of everything. So no matter what sigil thing you have activated, it activates. Nice. Right, so the possum's going to attack the strange frog. Let's put the other frozen possum in front of the leaping thing. Yeah, strange frog. Just to buy us time? Yep, that adder is going to kill off our long elk. Just like I knew it would. Um, let's grab a squirrel. Put down the squirrel. Cross our fingers, hope we get a squirrel in a bottle. Uh, in front of the... Doesn't matter. Oh, we got, we a, got goat. a black goat. Put the black goat down. I have to summon the black goat. Yeah. Okay. I'm assuming you want me to summon the amalgam? Yes. Uh, in front of the adder? Yes. I can follow rules sometimes. Go. You're going to win anyway. Nope, this is just the first turn. Yeah, I know, but you still get to win a little bit. 
You get to cherish your slight victory. Oh. Wait. What do we... Okay, so wait. Explain to me how this works. So, because we have eight pelts, we can grab... So these cards are exactly how they're going to be played as soon as we are done here. So with our pelt, we can grab the bat or the bloodhound or any of these, and the cards will just... the move will continue. Is it like it goes into our hand, or does it go into the spot adjacent? I believe it goes into our hand. Okay. So... Oh, look, we can see what we have below. Um... Two, two. I'd say we grab either the bat or the raven. But that'll make the grizzly come down. I guess the raven, because it'll grow in one turn. Yeah. And now it's our turn. Squirrel? I say... Now... I could cut up the bat. No. Okay. We're gonna wait until he brings down that grizzly, and we'll cut up the grizzly. Okay. Uh, we don't have anything we can play at the moment, so I would just go. Hey, we killed the great white. That's good. Yes. I'm assuming I'm going to get rid of that grizzly. Yeah, but pick up a squirrel first. Squirrel, kill the grizzly. Yeah, kill the grizzly. Alright. Thank you. <laughs> I wasn't trying to give you a heart attack. Um, let's see. So that's three. We only need, yeah, play the raven. In the open space? Yeah. We got the scissors back, so we could actually... Kill the bloodhound. We're gonna win anyway. Oh! That you are right. So why waste doing that? Did you- Be No. No. A ask me what I did. What, A what is going on? The bloodhound stops you from attacking the person directly. That is the sigil. Did you already put down the squirrel? Yes, I did. Okay, just cut up the blood hand, I guess. And then play the raven. All right. So for anybody that didn't know, Keshi is actually the one that we were playing against. He is the one that's making up all these scenarios. Strange larva. Mantis God. Mantis God! Yeah, because that does three damage. But. Yeah. Uh, okay. I was trying to. That was heavily censor. exaggerated. I was trying to, trying to think of a sensor word, but couldn't come up with it. Okay. I know to not go to the pelt person. Yeah. We don't need anything in the backpack. Sacrificing for the sigil? Yes. You want to get rid of why? No. Actually. I want to put, do we have 13, or the cat? Okay, so we have the cat. I want to put that on something that doesn't have a sigil. Um, the cat. Yeah. Yeah. Take the cat. Yeah. Yes. We're looking at hey, stuff hey. that we can yeah. use to put onto something. I, I am right here. I understand what you're saying. I was looking to see if we could see any other ones. Okay, so the only one that doesn't have a sigil is the stoat and the gek. The amalgam and the, the mantis. The amalgam always gets something. So, do you want to put it on the stoat or the gek? Let's actually put it on the gek because, yes, it only has one health. It's no cost. Yeah. 
Now, you are actually going to be able to help me through this part, which I made it to last time, but I was not good at. The warm light of the cabin cut through the thick fog. Surely your tribulations ended here. Surely. I like my tiny fan. You feel better? A little bit. Okay. Oh yeah. A rare opportunity. The great boons of Leshy's woods were on offer. Draw three cards. The three cards must include a pelt card. The three must have the airborne sigil. Or if you have the ring you pass on that you're gonna have to go airborne yeah cross your fingers dang it it stops airborne but we get to try again so it's fine waterborne to the left we have a lot of elk yep let's let's do that one the middle one yep Oh, yes. Yes! Oh, my goodness. Okay. Cards that dramatically alter the game, and you don't even need to draw them. The boon of the magpie's eye, when you draw from your deck, you may choose any card in your deck to draw. The boon of the forest, you will start a battle with grand furs on all of your spaces. That'll give us enough time to strategize. Like okay. Uh, the boon of the ambidextrous, you may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. That's kind of overpowered. You would love that. I like that one, but I also like the magpie one. I want to go with the draw twice. Now, can we read the book? You may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. Is it like any turn? I don't know. I. That's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Yes, I know that. And we are back after those brief messages. What is the answer? Yes, so you actually do get to draw twice on every single turn. Sounds like a done deal. I was a little scared that I chose the wrong one. I was also a little scared. What do you want, Leshy? You may actually get a boon. This may be a fair competition. Also, if anybody wants to know, if you ever get the uh, the boon of goat's blood, choose that for sure. You can talk for him. You're back. Sit. No. Fine. Oh, how I relish this moment. I catch up our time together. Dang it. <laughs> you and these filthy jokes. Well, it's a pun, but thanks. Two flames will not suffice this time. It's right here. I'm about to ready to give you the controller and say just go at it. I get three because I'm special. Yeah, that's true. You're a special pain. So you got the extra blood, the backpack squirrel. Okay, so. So here's Mole Man up. Let me look at our cards. Look at our cards. Okay, we got the Long Elk. Okay. Mantis God. Okay. Proghorn. Okay. A Squirrel and Greater Smoke. Okay, play. I, I want you to actually pick up two squirrels. I don't. Yeah, we can't draw yet. What? We can't draw yet. Why? I, I don't know. It won't let me draw. Oh, I guess it's because of the very beginning of the game. Okay. Um, play down Greater Smoke. Okay. In an open spot. I don't care where. Just take the turn and go. Pull two squirrels. 
play down the pronghorn. And yeah, that spot. Okay. And two. And then play Mantis God in three. Uh, we need blood for that. Do you want me to go to the Great of Smoke for that? Look at your hand. I have a squirrel. Ooh. And we can play Long Elk. But I wouldn't because he's probably going to gold them. So take your turn. I want to keep that Long Elk for a very important piece. I figured he would do that. Um, let's pick up a creature card. And let's pick up a squirrel. You want me to put the elk fawn in the open space? Yeah, and four. Use the long elk and two. Okay. In order to kill the amalgam? Yes. And then we could actually have him skip his turn if we wanted. Which we could. Let's have him skip his turn. Okay. And then we play. Okay. I want you to pick up a creature and a squirrel. Now, play. Okay, first candle down. That's you talking. <clears throat> you capably endured the onslaught of rare creatures, but the true challenge was forthcoming. Shadowy figures appear before you. In their eyes glimmered a reckoning of kinship, but colored by guilt. They were betraying you. I remember that one fondly. Okay, cool. I'm not going to have you popcorn me again. Uh, what should I grab next? Um, so we don't really have any open spots, so I want you to pick up a squirrel and a creature. And then just go? Yeah. I wonder if the long elk will take care of the stump. It does, actually. Oh, that's helpful. Mmm, stale fish. Hard chews. Uh, creature and squirrel? Yeah. We got the stunted wolf. Okay. Look at our cards. So we got three squirrels. We got Y, stoat, and stunted wolf. Okay. Um, let's... I feel like we're going to have to get rid of the long elk because I don't want that used against us. Because he's going to take it. Yeah, but couldn't we take it back? Or do we want to save that for the third candle? I want to save that for the third candle just because I don't know if it comes back. So let's play the stunted wolf in front of Manta's god. Play stoat in front of the open space. You know what? No. Leave it like that. You got it. He's going to take away our squirrel. I'm totally fine with him taking our squirrel. <laughs> like, you know what? I'm fine with that. Okay. Squirrel and creature. 
So we got an elk and a squirrel. Let's play down the stove. Okay. Because we only have open one open space. Uh, do you want me to use the scissors to cut up the squirrel? The squirrel. Or we could use it to cut up. I'd say the one that's going to do attack. Well, CB is going to grow stronger. Yeah, but we attack first, and then the card changes. Oh, yeah, okay. So then, yeah. I'd say the Y, then play the squirrel to get a new item. Yeah. Bones. Even is that? Oh, bones? Okay. That's dope. Ready? Yep. Okay, so oh, we're almost out of squirrels. Yes. Pick up two creatures. Got the bloodhound and the amalgam. It's not what I wanted. Um. Wait, play. You're gonna win this one. Okay, we are officially on the final candle. Is this the farthest you got? Yes. This moon is traumatic, yes, but it provides no value to my board. I wonder. Ah. What? Now that is value. I'm assuming two creatures. Yep. What the... So the Mighty Leaper will block airborne sigils. Omni Strike... It will strike each opposing space that is occupied. What is that last one? Title lock. At the beginning of its owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will pull small creatures like squirrels into its orbit. So that means that if we cannot play a squirrel... So thankfully, that's good. We just have to put animals out there that are going to do great. Let's put out the raven's egg. I mean, we have to play the squirrel first. Okay, and attack? Yeah. Uh, pick up two creatures. Okay. Okay, so we have four, three, and two. Let me just see if we have anything. Nope, we literally have our best out there. Or, it, what if we play the stink bug? Wouldn't that reduce the attack to zero? Yeah, we could put it in... F we could... But we'd have to... We could use that instead of the elk. Yeah, but how are we going to put it there? Because the stink bug takes bones and the elk gives blood. Oh, yeah. We could put it with a gold nugget as next turn. Yes, there we go. That is... That's perfect. a compromise. Reduce for use, Ikikli. Ooh, and we got the gek. Okay, put the stink bug out there. This is perfect. Just play. Yeah, because now it won't do any damage. And actually, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 4, 10. That's 12. What is this? Weakening my moon with this stinky sigil. It makes no sense. Moons do not have a sense of smell. This is not how I imagined this battle going. I think we only have a creature and a squirrel. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh. Not oh, my heart. Okay, pull, pull the other creature. We have all of our creatures. I'm just gonna have to attack. Yep. You really destroyed the moon? Sure did, all by myself with my husband. I suppose all that's left is to finish me off. Go on. I mean, we're gonna finish him off, like, right now, so just pick up a squirrel. Oh, we actually had two squirrels. Oh, nice. That was all of our cards. Okay. Bye, Leshy!
Enduring victory! This isn't the end. Oh Dang God. it! I think I just beat him. That's oh. unique. Why was there a camera that said 400 minutes on it? Was that how long I've been playing this stupid game? No. Shh. Cam works. Am I supposed to listen to this? Yes. Oh, yeah, you get to select. So select that video. 915? Yep. Great use of a video. Um, I think the... What's that? Yeah, no, over. No, other way. Yeah. Oh, okay, I guess the stop button. Uh, go to the other 915. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today, I am opening Catch Monsters packs and digging for that epic, shiny Transcend Dog! And here I'll add some crazy VFX with lightning bolts or something. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am about to open my first pack. Feeling good about this one. Feeling real good. Ooh, what do we I'm just glad I have the closed captioning turned on. Okay, and our first rare is a Birchkin. Not exactly a viable competitive card, but hey, it's a pretty one. All right, next pack. Feeling even better about this one. I gotta say, these cards are feeling extra silky today. I mean, they're so smooth. Not sure what they're it looks doing like the dollar the, store uh, version of Matt Pack. Factory, but um, things are feeling good in my hands. Okay, let's see what we got here. He's like if Matt Pat and Mark Markiplier had a child. Maybe a few additions to my draft cube. We'll see. And our rare for this pack is Bam Dog. Not exactly riveting so far, but we have many packs to go. Next pack, here we come! I'll just cut out this part. This dude is in extreme credit card debt. Yeah. Okay, so um, hit the square. I'm um, assuming we go to 10 2. Yes. Uh, what's our time like? Over an hour. <laughs> Well, well almost guys, an hour. <laughs> we well, all you sleepy bears. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before what? before we go, I wanted to say, I've seen a few uh, card videos on TikTok. What they do is they open the pack, they face it face down, meaning that they can only see the logos and none of the creatures. They pull three off the top, put it on the bottom, then flip it over and start doing the cards. It was just a super weird thing that I saw. Anyway, yes, we have been playing this game for fifty three minutes. And it is almost our bedtime. So, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. We will see you all next time. Goodbye, my sleepy bears. Bye.